So good morning everyone. We are just about to head off to the skydiving place. I am shitting myself um, but I'm trying to like calm my nerves and just be like you don't need to be nervous until I'm actually standing on the edge of a plane. Um, but yeah I'm really excited. Me and Anya, Aiden's mum are the first ones ready and we can't wait. I'm always going to be your camera guy, not for him. Yeah. I never thought this could happen It's turned into more than attraction Around you I see what we could be Living in the love contraption Something inside of me changed Don't know which road I should take So many to choose One thing is true They all lead back to you How 
was it? Yeah, I messed up the landing a little bit. So I enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, it was really fun. What yeah. was the best bit? It was definitely the free fall, the first bit as well. And yeah. I really love like looking around when we're floating down. It's great, isn't it? It's great, yeah. Love Would you it. do it again? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Would you say to someone thinking about doing a skydive? Um, definitely do it. Like I've never experienced anything like it before. Excellent. Thanks for jumping with us. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks, Ma. <laughs> So we are currently at a pub with Aiden's family and some of Aiden's mum's friends. The skydive is done. I'm going to speak to you all about it as soon as I get home. I'm so excited to talk about it. But yeah, for now, I'm just at the pub. We just had, I just had a fish and chips, which was absolutely lovely. And I'm going to be heading back soon, getting all my stuff and heading back home. I've had four hours sleep. Help. <laughs> this is why I look so tragic, by the way. It's because I've had four hours sleep. I've just realized that this video is an absolute state. Right, so I am finally back home. We, I went and collected all my like shit from Aiden's because obviously we got home really late last night. Um, we managed to get home to Aiden's at 2 a.m. then had to wake up at 6 a.m. to get all ready to go to the skydiving place. So we literally were surviving off four hours sleep. I was absolutely knackered. Um, my brother managed to get a few bits of footage that obviously the company didn't get so thank you to david for that and you will have seen everything hopefully before this so i really hope you enjoyed the video sorry if um i know that the video i haven't seen the video yet for myself um i'm gonna have to wait until it gets delivered in the post because they have the company like edit part of the video um as they did like mini interviews as we were going um, before, as we were going up, and during, and afterwards, and yeah, they, they, they compile a, a really good video, and it is worth the money, even though it is a lot, so hopefully you will have seen that before this, and it was enjoyable, I don't know how much we're going to include, because I know when I first fell out of the plane on the freefall section, um, my goggles were like slipping into my eye, I was in such discomfort that I wasn't really like enjoying the entire free fall, which was annoying because I was trying to like move my glass um move my goggles down, but because I was only doing it with, with one ha with one hand, I was unbalancing the guy on my back, which I felt so awful about. So I don't know if that section's actually going to be decent. I know I put my thumbs up at one point because it was amazing, like the best experience ever. It did not ruin my expectations because my expectations were so high it's been on the top of my bucket list from since as long as I can remember honestly like it's been one thing I've wanted to do my whole life and I'm so glad I've done it I'm definitely going to be doing it again and now that I've done like sort of a basic one nearby I will be able to do future ones maybe round and about but definitely abroad so I can like see lots of scenic views like a lot of people say Dubai is great for skydives which I'm really hoping to do at some point in my life but yeah I'm so so happy and I'm going to be doing a whole main channel video on my experience because it was just such a breathtaking and insane experience I can't explain it I'm just super happy but I'm knackered I'm gonna have a little nap and then get back to you very soon so this is my little certificate that I got today for doing my tandem skydive um I can't remember if I mentioned earlier but we would we jumped 13,000 feet out of um the airplane like I said I'm gonna be doing a whole proper sit down experience video on my main channel where I'm gonna talk about like the price um all the different like bits of details but obviously you will see the majority of what happened in the vlog all my feelings thoughts because the guy sort of in interviewed me throughout it. This is what the certificate looked like. I did it at Peterborough and then they gave us a magazine as well and also some vouchers. Um, there's also a £20 voucher here if anyone else wants to get any money off. Oh yeah, I also got some blogger mail today. I thought I'd quickly show you. So I got some things from Magic Alley, which sell loads of like Harry Potter merchandise. So they sent me over one of their little chocolate frogs, one of their greeting cards, which I think I'm going to be actually using as like a quote card, um, like a little quote poster sort of thing um, on my uni wall. So it's the Albus Dumbledore quote, happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. If only one remembers to turn on the light. I really love that quote and I think it's really cute. And then they also sent me the, Deathly Hallows necklace which I think is lovely I think it's quite subtle and I can like wear this on an everyday basis it's not like sort of dramatic and then also another interesting package I got today that was a, um, a PR package is actually from Foxes you probably have heard of this this brand before but yeah they've sent me their Viennese milk chocolate dip fingers their 
chocolatey white chocolate rounds and then they're also the milk chocolate ones too so yeah thank you very much to foxes and magic alley for sending me over these things and then i also got some more printiki photos um if you want to use my code here it is if you use this code you get free delivery um on your order and then I got some of our Italy photos printed off already whilst I was in, whilst I was actually in Italy because I had like a, a discount code that was running out. So I decided to use it whilst I was there. But yeah, that's some more photos for the scrapbook. And yeah, exciting. Hey everyone. So it's a few days later after my skydive and I thought I'd come and sit here and have a proper chat because I was so dead in the last clip. So I, honestly, as I've been, as I said like about a million times, I was surviving off a few hours sleep. So I just wasn't in the best place to talk, but I will be doing like a full experience video on my main channel saying literally every part of the process. Best experience ever, but I felt like I just couldn't talk about it afterwards as much because it was like the last piece of energy left inside of me was me jumping out that plane and then I slept for about 14 hours straight afterwards so yay I really hope that you saw a bit of an insight into my skydive from the footage I haven't seen it yet still um I'm so excited to see what it looks like even though I know the foot the actual freefall part is going to be just hilarious because I was like fumbling with my goggles when I jumped out the plane the goggles started like slipping into my eyes so I couldn't really see anything um, and obviously the photographer the photographer jumps out with you separately and he films just the free fall and then he he lands he doesn't like film the bit where you're floating obviously but it won't be very graceful the actual free fall bit i remember holding my thumbs up for like two seconds the, the weird thing is though i was so nervous like the morning before and just before i got on the plane but as soon as i was actually like going up i was like really chilled and really excited for it and i thought it was going to be like the opposite like i was only going to be scared when i'm actually up there and like dangling out the plane but You'll see from the position we were in, we were literally dangling off this person's body, like, completely out of the plane, and I ended up going last. We'd all, like, sort of positioned ourselves, like, um, I think Aiden's mum was going to go first, then I was going to go second, and something like that, and when we got there, we realised four of us, and then two other random people, we kind of got, like, just pushed into the plane, um, anywhere, and I ended up going last, which was terrifying, because I didn't want to be the last person on the plane, however, um... There was about five, ten seconds between each, like, person going out, and I didn't expect that. I thought it was going to be, like, a couple minutes to make sure no one bashed each other, but it was quicker than expected. It was kind of like we went up in the plane for ten minutes, and then we just started getting, like, thrown out of the plane. But, yeah, it was, it was honestly the best experience ever. If you're ever, like, thinking about doing it, like, a little bit, then I'd highly recommend pushing yourself and doing it, because it's such an indescribable experience. I've never felt anything like that in my life. I just felt so free and I'm 100% going to be doing more in the future. Me and my boyfriend are going to do it in some different countries, I think, and maybe even higher at some points. But yeah, you can even do like courses so you can end up skydiving on your own, which is insane. Um, I'd love to do that, but I think that would be even more terrifying, like actually having to push yourself because because I had the guy on the back of me, he was the one who obviously pushed off. Um, I didn't really have much time to think either. Like I wasn't actually scared when I was sitting on the edge of the plane and that was the point I thought I was going to be most nervous at. The horrible experience for me was because I'd already had my ears popped from the previous day when we come back from the plane from Italy and um, so it made my ears even worse and I had I have a cold still you probably can tell by my voice and I still can't hear properly so god knows if I'm speaking too loud but yeah all of my sinuses like really hurt as we were falling because it was so cold and so windy like it felt like I couldn't breathe as I was going out but it was like such a good, good can't breathe. <laughs> that even makes any sense but yeah i really hope you enjoyed this skydiving video make sure to subscribe to my main channel so you're the first to see when i upload my actual skydiving experience and all of the interesting details that people might want to know make sure to smash the thumbs up if you did enjoy comment down below if you would like to do this or if you've already done one before and where you've done it uh, i'd love to know and i'm hopefully get gonna bring the uni vlogs back this vlog though will probably be up um, after I've gone back to uni because I'm still waiting for the footage. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this and I will see you very soon. Bye!